Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm excited to show you the refreshed 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 here in its base work truck trim level. This one is a little bit unique behind me as it is the single cab long bed configuration. It's the only way the single cab comes is with the long bed. And today I wanna to show you around just what an affordable $50,000 work truck looks like in the refreshed Silverado HD lineup. Now, if you guys follow along or have seen some of my other videos, and you'll know I have done several walk-around videos on different trim levels of the Refresh 2024 Silverado and even the Sierra Heavy Duty lineup. So make sure to check those other videos out if you guys are interested in other trim levels. But today I thought I'd do a quick walk-around on this particular truck because like I said, it is right at $50,000, including destination, it is a Z71 work truck with the gasoline paired to the new Allison 10 speed. That is a change that they made for 2024 is that all these trucks, including the gas V8 now comes with the 10 speed Allison transmission, which should improve the overall driving dynamics, drivability, and some of the uh, performance of the engine as well. But overall, there hasn't been too much change in terms of the interior, especially on the work truck and the custom trims, as it does soldier on with the mostly unchanged interior from the pre refresh trucks uh, when these trucks did come out in the 2020 model year. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this work truck behind me and see what it offers for right at $50,000. So the truck in front of us is fished in the Summit White exterior paired to the jet black cloth interior seating surface. This one does have the vinyl floor option, and I believe there is a vinyl seating surface option as well, if I'm not mistaken. Now take a look at the front end. All 2024 heavy duties will receive a refreshed front bumper design, front grill, as well as headlight design. No matter the trim level that you choose, uh, some of them just get the premium upgraded LED lighting, whereas the lesser work truck and custom trims do not. But nonetheless, I think they do look a lot better than the pre-refreshed trucks. Now take a look at the headlights. These are gonna be the standard halogen reflector high and low beams with the incandescent turn signals in the upper portion right there. There is a nice gloss black trim that runs across the middle section of the grill, very similar to that of the custom truck I showed just a few weeks ago here on the channel. You have the standard gold bow tie, but of course you can get the black bow ties if you'd like as a dealer installed accessory. This one does have the chrome front and rear bumpers as well, which gives it a nice upscale look in my opinion. No fog lights, unfortunately, but this does have the front recovery tow hooks and a little bit of an air diffuser down below, maybe just to improve fuel economy just a little bit. Up here on the hood, this has a non-functional hood scoop. If you do get the diesel engine option, that does become functional. Uh, just the standard black plastic with the Chevrolet logo embossed in it. And coming up a little bit farther on the hood, you have the Allison transmission with the 6.6 .6 liter badge uh, because that is new for 2024 is that this engine is now paired to a 10 speed torque converted automatic. Now take a look here on the side of the truck. This one does have the standard um, wheel arch moldings. Now unfortunately, unlike the Sierra lineup, you can't get body color wheel arch moldings in the Chevrolet lineup for some reason. Not exactly sure why this is, but um, I'm sure here on a work truck, people wouldn't want that anyway, but just keep that in mind. If you get a higher trim level of the Silverado HD, you cannot get the wheel arch moldings color match to the body. Now coming to the wheel and tire setup, this is gonna be a slight upgrade over that of the standard work truck setup as this one does have the Z71 off-road package. So this is gonna be 18 inch silver painted steel wheels wrapped in a slightly upgraded all-terrain tire. So this is gonna be an LT275 70 18 inch Michelin LTX AT2 all-terrain tire. So still a heavy duty base tire uh, with a lot of capability. However, it is just a little bit more aggressive if you do plan to hit the dirt roads, gravel roads, or anything like that. And there is the Z71 that goes along with that. And we will touch on what is included in the Z71 package here in a minute. But here, as far as the mirror caps go, these are gonna be an upgraded mirror from the standard work truck. They do have the LED turn signal integration here on the outside. There's gonna be LED puddle lights on the bottom, auto dimming upper section, as well as heated upper section. LED auxiliary lighting, and these are going to be power folding as well, which is a very nice touch in my opinion uh, for a work truck like this. You have the standard matte black plastic door handle poles, but you can see here from the side, you have the single cab with the long bed configuration. Uh, so it makes it a very functional truck nonetheless. And here in the front of the bed, all heavy duties do come standard with the sidestep for easier access into the bed if there's anything in the front that you need to access. Now coming out back, it will have the standard lighting setup as well with the incandescent turn signals, reverse lights, brake lights, everything like that with the chrome rear bumper on this particular truck. Integrated sidestep is pretty much standard across all GM trucks now. And this does have a two and a half inch receiver with a two inch insert that comes with the truck in case you need to downsize it just a little bit. 
four pin and seven pin hookups, the Chevrolet stamped into the tailgate with your backup camera, LED light out back, and this is the power release, easy lift lower tailgate as well, which is a little bit of an upgrade over the standard tailgate that comes with the work truck. Uh, but nonetheless, a very nice looking truck, not too basic on the exterior because once again, it does have the chrome front and rear bumpers. Z71 package adds a little bit as well as the mirrors on the sides. But let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker so you guys know exactly how this one's equipped and then we'll jump onto the interior. Now we take a look at the window sticker. Of course, it starts just over $46,000 before destination and any additional options. Now I'm not gonna read through all of them, but you guys can pause it right here, read through the available options that this one has. And that brings the total MSRP to $51,405, including destination. Now take a look in the interior. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the work truck as well as the custom trims carry over with a mostly unchanged interior. Now if you do step up to the LT or higher in the heavy duty lineup for 2024, it will get a dashboard design, some of the new technology on the inside. Very similar to that of the refresh 1500 series trucks just a few years ago. But starting out here on the door panel, you'll find mostly hard touch black plastics, but you do have a rubberized padded armrest here for the driver and passenger side. Power windows, mirrors, and locks. And like I said, because it has the optional trailering mirrors, um, it does have the power fold functionality and it does have a manual extension. So if you guys need to extend the mirrors out for trailering, just to see, uh, you just simply pull those mirrors out and they will extend outward by a few inches. The door panel does have a lot of nice storage here in the front side. Uh, so that's always nice for contractors or anybody who needs to store larger items in the door. Coming to the driver's seat, it does have a manual four-way seat, so no height adjustment, unfortunately. And like I mentioned, this is the standard black cloth interior. I believe you can get a vinyl seating surface option as well. And before we jump on the interior, I do want to show you the vinyl floor option really quick. So these are going to be a little bit more durable than that of the standard black carpet. Now, one of the nice changes for 2024 is the fact that all these trucks do come standard with push button start. Now, unfortunately, even though it does come with the proximity key fob, there's no buttons on the front or door handles or anything like that uh, to actually unlock it without uh, getting the key fob out and pressing the button. Now, immediately you'll see the mostly analog gauge cluster with the dials on the left and right and all the gauges at the top but it does have a small 3.5 inch monochromatic display in the center that you can adjust via rotating this knob up here. You can have your digital speed readout, four wheel drive controls, all of your trip fuel economy information. It does display some of the vehicle settings and the uh, TPMS, everything like that, that you would expect on a new vehicle. So very small, but very handy nonetheless. You have a standard urethane steering wheel, cruise control on the left side with forward collision avoidance assist as standard as well three distance settings that you can't adjust from right there. And paired to that, it does have automatic high beam assist as well on the left-hand stock. And here's your column shift for the transmission with your manual gear selection as well. Coming to the four-wheel drive, it does have two high, four high, four low. So a two-speed transfer case is standard. Dedicated trailering mode. There's your automatic headlights with your bed lighting and gauge illumination as well. Pretty standard black plastic dashboard, a little bit of additional storage up here as well. And coming to, over to the infotainment, this is the smaller seven inch display, but it does have wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay. This one does have the optional XM, uh, but FM, AM, USB, Bluetooth input is standard. Integrated Wi-Fi hotspot, you can test your trailer lights, trailer hookups, OnStar services, and a few other vehicle settings in the screen as well. So a little bit on the smaller side of things, but again, this is a work truck, very basic stuff. Uh, but very handy nonetheless. Some physical controls for that display down below. Single zone, manual climate control, lane keeping assist. There's your tailgate release, hazard button, traction control off, hill descent control. Integrated trailer brake controller, USB-A and USB-C inputs, 12 volt outlet, as well as the optional 120 volt here on the interior. And it'll be in the bed as well once we get back there. The center console does flip up, so this is a three passenger configuration if you would like. Inside you will find additional storage and there is the auxiliary power box that you can hook up underneath the hood for the auxiliary switch kit to the left of the steering wheel. So this is a nice addition if you need the additional lights, uh, plow, um, any other things that need power from the vehicle itself. You have five different hookups right there. And down below all that, there is some additional storage that you can lock via this thing right here. Uh, but, but very handy to have additional storage space inside of a smaller truck like this. Up top, you have a medium gray headliner. 
No vanity illumination or anything like that, but it does have the auto dimming into your rear view mirror. So all three mirrors on this truck are going to be auto dimming. OnStar passenger airbag sensor, as well as the overhead LED lighting. And that pretty much wraps up this truck. There's going to be a little bit of additional storage space behind the front two seats. That is also where you find your roadside jack. Uh, you do have the child seat tethers on the back. And uh, yeah, overall, that is a look at the interior of the work truck. I do like the electronic release tailgate with the easy lift lower function. I think that is a good option to add. No bed liner in this truck, but that is available as an additional charge. Like I mentioned, this is the long bed, so it is the eight foot bed configuration. Three tie down points in every corner. It does not have the LED lighting here in the bed, but that is available. But there is the 120 volt outlet, like I mentioned. 400 watts between the two plugs so not a ton of power uh, but good to have for auxiliary power tools or anything like that on a job site uh, but pretty basic bed nonetheless wrapping it up here on the passenger front seat really not too much to show you here on the, this side still a four-way manual seat do have the dual glove box for a little bit of initial storage space there's that two inch insert for the hitch that i mentioned now under the hood, you're gonna find the 6.6 .6 liter naturally aspirated gas V8 engine. New for 2024 is paired to a 10 speed Allison torque converted automatic. Now this engine puts out 401 horsepower and 464 pound feet of torque through the rear wheels or all four wheels if you select all wheel drive. Now I really do think the 10 speed for 2024 is a huge upgrade on these trucks because formerly they were paired to a six speed. So I would think the towing payload and some of the other hauling capabilities that these trucks are capable of uh, would be made just a little bit easier. And who knows, you might even gain just a little bit of additional fuel economy. Not that people care about that in heavy duty trucks in specific. So before we go ahead and wrap up this video, I do wanna give you the payload and towing capabilities of this exact configuration. Now the max payload is rated at 3,869 pounds. Conventional towing is 14,500 and the max gooseneck is 18,300 pounds, so it is very capable. So that's gonna do it for this video on the 2024 Refresh Silverado Heavy Duty 2500 in the single cab long bed configuration. Like I said, I did make a video on a very similar truck for the 2023 model year, but I thought since this truck went through a refresh, I'd just do a quick walk around, uh, show you guys what this truck is capable of, what the options are on this particular truck. And like I said, at $51,000, including destination, um, I think this is a pretty good spec if you're looking for a more bare bones truck, don't need all of the fancy features and technology, but you are getting Chevy Safety Suite as standard for 2024, uh, which is nice, includes lane keeping assist, the forward collision avoidance assist, and the high beam assist, and among a few other items. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the videos and the channel. Subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed and make sure to check out some other videos I have on the 2023 and 2024 Silverado heavy duties, depending on which one you're looking at. There definitely are some leftover 2023 still on dealership lots. Uh, so you might be able to strike a very decent deal for a very similar truck in that regard. Uh, however, if you are looking at the upper trim levels with the updated technology, of course, that is going to be limited to 2024 and newer. But let me know your thoughts on this particular truck down in the comment section below. Do you think the single cab long bed configuration is a very useful one for contractors? Or would you rather have the double cab or a, of course a crew cab at that uh, for even more interior space, uh, hauling capabilities and stuff like that. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this particular truck for $51,000. And as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one.